even to keep saying that I'm a I'm an emotional being. We women are emotional beings. That's that's essentially you justifying you being able to say whatever the fuck it is that you feel in that moment. So it is is one of those deals of where once you say something, you can't unsay it. It can't be unheard. So when you're in this emotional state, you're you're upset or whatever, <clears throat> and you just rambling, you're nagging, then that that's going to have some type of effect on that man. So just like Hink said, because uh, I, I was tuning in earlier, just how he said, if if the shit goes wrong, then it goes wrong. If it goes right, it goes right. You know what I'm saying? Who whose side are you on? Either you're either you're with me or you're against me. You know what I'm saying? Either we're in this together or you or we're not. But to to use me being emotional, I'm emotional, and I should be able to say whatever whatever I feel in that moment. Like that's in my opinion, that's sabotaging the relationship because no man, even if that is something that that man is into, no man over time, especially, is going to be comfortable or okay with receiving that from the woman that he's supposed to be able to, to be able to trust and confide in and spend the rest of his days with. Because at some point, you're going to keep stretching and keep pushing the boundaries of those emotions because you've you've made it clear that this is something that you do it's a difference from communicating emotionally and communicating emotions right so for instance i can come to you but this really hurt us i promise you like how could you do this i told you to do this i told you to put this 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 and this da -da 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 -da. Babe. This really kind of hurting us. It's, I'm, I'm dealing with an extra low right now. It's the kids. They they doing this. They doing this. This decision kind of affected us. And I low key laid it out. But and he could tell me, like y'all said, that makes me feel some type of way. I'm sorry. Let me just focus this, like on the reason why I came here. I, I'm just emotionally overwhelmed right now. Maybe I need a hug. Maybe I need a little bit of reinsurance because losing 250000 And like y'all said, you don't want to communicate emotionally about every little thing. I didn't say every little thing. I was talking about specifically this situation. And like I just stated when I first said it, if it takes me two weeks, I'm, a, I'm, I'm very observative, observative. So if I can notice if you're still feeling some type of way, I can notice if you're ready to receive me. I spoke about this earlier in the show, effective communication. I'm not communicating to, just to be emotional, but I want to be effective. I want you to understand my worries, because like she said, it's going to build some trust issues. I want you to understand how I feel. And I might need a little reassurance. That's probably what I need in that moment. If I was in that moment, I'm guessing if I'm emotional, I know, because I'm just trying to be realistic. I'm knowing if I'm going to him, it's nine times out of ten for reassurance. Well, let me just say I, I this. Think, I think, go ahead, Kelly. I was just going to say, everybody on this panel, we all have emotions. We're all human, right? But you have to know, just like we've said on here before, you have to know what to say, when to say it. Same thing with your emotions. You have to know when to take your emotions out of it and get to the bottom line. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And it, like I told you, it's okay to express your feelings, communicate, but you got to know when to pull back on some of those things when it comes to your emotions. That's it. Just, you know, cut the fat a little bit. That's all. And, and I agree. Know. That's why I gave um, examples of the toxicity on how you can communicate well, those we gotta, emotions and those lack of trust issues. Yeah, even though you're changing the tone, he might not be focused on your tone. He may just hear that message. And I think you have to factor that in. And that message is that you want him to know that he, he effed up and what's the issue. It may, and just like Kelly said, it may not be the right time to have that. Like nobody, I don't know too many people that want to hear that at that time. Now, if you want to, if he doesn't bring it up like two days and three days, then maybe come back and have that conversation. But in that moment, it's not that time. It's really not that time. <laughs> I said and, two weeks. You said and, two days. I said two weeks. Okay. I was giving and, them more time. And two hundred fifty thousand dollars is not nothing that happens often. But I get, I get the feeling that you coming for his neck with things smaller than that. 
But why do y'all consider it that? A baby just because, a woman expressing to you because he said he got to deal with the consequences all the time. You, you keep you yeah. keep saying you, you keep saying act, that you're emotional. Way, you, you keep bringing up yeah, emotion. The way you act, that first that first performance you put on, I think it's the way you are on every conversation <laughs> with that man. Every time, I'm not. don't that, that second one. I don't know what that second person <laughs> that, that, that was some bullshit. That first person, that's really you. So even you said I will come two weeks later. Ma'am, let me say it for a fifth time. It's nothing you can say that's gonna make that man feel bad. If I lose twenty five dollars, I will forever remember the time I lost the twenty five dollars. I can't never make that shit up. I'm always gonna it. think about. It. God damn it, I missed out on I could have been 25 more dollar richer, but I missed out on the opportunity. So especially 250000 Now, if I got $250,000 to invest in, I got I got a lot more money in accounts or, or in, in, in property or whatever the case may be. If I got $250 to invest on something, I have it. I'm not going to sit there and do it. Like I said, that said before, I'm going to do the research. I'm not just going to go in there blind and not do no research. As me as a leader, I'm going to do research, make sure I look up, make sure I study, pay attention, get get advice from elders who already know everything they need to know about certain investment or, or certain stock that I'm going to invest in. I'm going to look into all of that. I'm going to present it to you and let you know what it is. And I'm going to present the scenario. If it doesn't work out the way I think it's going to work out, how would you feel about that? And the truth of the matter is, is that is what the conversation is going to be about too. when you're having the conversation. Is it just to get your feelings off because you are mad or is it really about the deeper issue? And for me, over the years, what I've learned, because I'm not going to front, I was like die in the sense of. You just got to heal. I got to get this off my chest, you know, type of thing. And what I was getting off my chest was actually the result, but not necessarily the cause. Now that I have matured in age, matured in marriage, and we've grown, that I now the conversation is different, even if it was a mess up, because the issue really wasn't about the $250,000 that you lost. Of, that's the consequence. The real issue, the underlying issue is that I felt like you didn't include me in the conversation and you made a decision and we're supposed to be a team. You made it a decision by yourself that impacted everybody. So that's really where the conversation needs to be and not necessarily about losing the money. That that's the consequence of saying because you didn't include me in this decision, which is that's where I felt, you know, um, disrespected or just not a team player or whatever language you're going to use is in as a result of you not including me in that the lo the loss of the two hundred and fifty thousand dollars have put all of us at risk and I didn't even have anything to do with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's more along the lines of where the conversation should be because our emotion and reaction is to the superficial part. Like when they say the iceberg, so that's the part that you can see. So your emotion is reaction to that part you can see. But when you really take the time to process and think about it, it's always a deeper underlying issue. And the underlying issue is you didn't feel valued uh, enough for him to come and speak to you about what was going on and let y'all come to some kind of decision. It was more so you made that decision on your own without considering how that would impact, uh, you know, impact me.